Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract three-digit numbers. These problems will be without regrouping or borrowing. Let's jump into number one, where we have 237 minus 113. Now for numbers one and two, we're going to use base 10 blocks to help us with these subtraction problems. Using base 10 blocks will help us visualize and better understand subtraction. So for number one, we're starting with 237 and we are subtracting or taking away 113. So to the right of the problem, I have 237 represented by base 10 blocks. So we have a two in the hundreds place. So here are our two hundreds. Then we have a three in the tens. Here are our three tens and then a seven in the ones. So here are our seven ones. Now we're ready to subtract. Now when we subtract whole numbers, we start with the ones place. So we have seven ones minus three ones. So let's subtract or take away three ones. One, two, three. How many do we have left? Well, one, two, three, four. So we put a four in the ones place in our answer. Now we move to the left and move to the tens place. So we have three tens minus one ten. So we need to subtract or take away one ten. So let's take away one ten and see how many we have left. So we have one, two tens left. So we put a two in the tens place in our answer. Then we move left to the hundreds place. So we have two hundreds minus one hundred. So we need to subtract or take away one hundred. So we'll get rid of this one, subtract that hundred, and we have one hundred left. So we put a one in the hundreds place in our answer. So our final answer, 124. Let's solve this to the left where we have the original problem as well. Start with the ones. So seven ones minus three ones gives us four. Move to the tens. So three tens minus one ten gives us a two in the tens. And then lastly, the hundreds. So two hundreds minus one hundred gives us a one in the hundreds. So we get 124 over to the left as well. Let's try another one and move on to number two. So we have 464 minus 232. So starting with 464 and we are subtracting or taking away 232. So we have 464 represented by base 10 blocks. A four in the hundreds place, we have four hundreds. A six in the tens, we have six tens. And then a four in the ones, we have four ones. So let's start with the ones. Four ones minus two ones. So let's subtract two ones. One, two, and then let's see how many we have left. One, two. So we put a two in the ones place in our answer. Let's move to the tens place. So we have six tens minus three tens. So let's take away three tens. One, two, three. How many do we have left? One, two, three. So we put a three in the tens place in our answer. And lastly, we have the hundreds. So we have four hundreds minus two. So let's subtract or take away two. One, two. So how many do we have left? Well, one, two. So we put a two in the hundreds place in our answer. Final answer, 232. Let's solve this to the left as well. So start with the ones. Four ones minus two gives us two. Move to the tens where we have six minus three. That gives us a three in the tens. And then lastly, the hundreds. So 
four hundreds minus two hundreds. Four minus two, that's going to give us two. So we get 232 over there as well. Let's move on to numbers three and four, and we're going to solve these without the base 10 blocks. Starting with number three, 987 minus 471. Start with the ones. So seven minus one, that gives us a six in the ones. Move to the tens. So we have eight tens minus seven tens. Eight minus seven gives us one. And then lastly, the hundreds. So nine hundreds minus four hundreds. Nine minus four gives us five. So we get a final answer of 516. And then lastly, number four, we have 859 minus 508. Start with the ones. Nine ones minus eight. Nine minus eight gives us one. Move to the tens where we have five tens minus zero. Five minus zero gives us five. And then lastly, the hundreds. So we have eight minus five there, eight hundreds minus five hundreds. That's going to give us a three in the hundreds place. A final answer of 351 for number four. So there you have it. There's how you subtract three digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.